in this channel uh, we have a tradition where i suit up for the season finale but still no pants did you know why you should know by this now because this is a hobby not a job let's begin right we left off at survival mode right bro drops that fucking teleportation stone like it's a fucking soap in prison dude he like not once this is the second time too right like why do you keep fucking dropping that shit okay oh shit let's go let's go how much time do we have until the daily resets <laughs> Hey, look at his fists. <laughs> what time is it? Because I've been saying for a while now, we have an exploit. When is the daily reset? And someone mentioned last episode too that I didn't take note of. When Jinna was putting out the sandwich, and when Sung Jin was thinking about Jinna and mom, that was not really for an emotional outrage. No, the timer? Of Jinna's time was 11 p.m., implying there's one more hour until the daily reset. And what then happens if you didn't do the daily quest? Oh. This is the voices of all the. Yeah, Mr. Kim and all the fucking pieces of shit that fucking betrayed us. What the fuck? Hallucination? <laughs> Fuck you, Mr. Kim. Kim, the only thing useful about you was your fucking sword that you kept leaving behind. Straight up, this sword was more useful than Mr. Kim throughout season one. <laughs> Juhi, you're on the floor 24-7. Fuck you. Was that Mr. Song? Was that not Mr. Kim? Was that Mr. Song? My bad, my bad. What's, what's going on right now? Yo, what is going on right now? Is this him actually hallucinating or is this like a system? What the fuck is going on? Zina. But you're me. I'm you. Chairman. He was not there the last raid. Is Manager Wu like Mr. Chairman's Chir like right hand man? Manager Wu is always here. Is he like his like main dude? That's kind of huge for Manager Wu, right? Yo, fuck the mental scars. What are your physical scars? How did you get your physical scars? Ah, the mental scars? And you know how Jin Mu is kind of having like a schizo attack of you know, the past and the insecurity? So that's going to directly translate into that, right? And then Jin Mu, yeah, exact mental scar! Taller, <laughs> Taller, way handsomer, stronger, better at everything. The gauntlet, I think, blocked that sword attack. Yo, why is Pasta shitting on us so much? Whoa! He actually got him! Oh, I thought we dodged! Holy! You good? We, we good, right? We good? We good? Ah! Man, this must be his inner insecurities creeping up, right? Double dungeon. Plot armor kicked in. Warning. Failure to complete the daily quest will result in an appropriate penalty. Lucky again? Plot armor again? They don't want you to die. Okay, keyword. It seems they don't want you to die. They. The system? The people that created this game? Why are we a player? Who is they? Bye-bye! <laughs> this lucky motherfucker. This lucky motherfucker. Does this even count, though? Because the whole point of this insecurity creeping up, the mental scars, is you haven't changed. You haven't changed. You got a taller. You got, you got that Korean plastic surgery. You look like a fucking idol, bro. You look like a fucking BTS member now, but nothing has changed. And what happened last time during the double dungeon? We got lucky, right? He did say luck is a part of this, but he got lucky and got bailed out. Main character armor. And again, 
he got lucky again. So can you truly say that he's different? I think so. But there's a very interesting thing going on here with, did you really change? And is, 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 like, is, is luck a part of it? Yo, is the centipede still here? What if the centipede just kills us? That is impeccable timing! And we're gonna get bonus points, and then the class we're gonna get... Potion. Easy. Easy. It's a lot of potions. Bro, it's chugging. What? Potions can't do anything sometimes if you've been injured too much? Huh. How much stronger are they now? Are they red names or... Four hours, right? So we have four hours we're buying time here? Let's go! Jinna? What are we doing? Uh, Jinna. Past midnight now, right? 4 a.m. Okay, so that's it's been 3 hours and 40 minutes. So we got 20 minutes left until the penalty timer runs out, huh? Level up, level up, level up. <laughs> Just massacred all the fucking centipedes. Bro, he's gonna max out the fucking timer? Night Killer. 25% more damage to armor type. Wouldn't that have been nice to have before we fucking showed up in this dungeon, huh? God damn it, a little bit too fucking late, but hey, nice, nice. Ooh, the soundtrack. The user can physically manipulate objects without touching them. Okay. So I thought it was like tied to a specific thing. Like when Igris like called a sword, I thought it's like only the sword he can do. So he's saying the user can physically manipulate objects without touching any object. Even enemies. Like if we're fighting Igris and Igris is far away, we could now use ruler's hand and Igris will be drawn to us. This is how that works. Any object without touching them. It's basically the Jedi force. Yeah. No mana. That's busted. No fucking mana for this? Bro, that's fucking busted, bro. That's busted! Yeah. What did it say? It says you can't move up anything too large. What did the sign actually say? Come on. Object cannot be moved due to low proficiency. Well, low proficiency as in if you, you know, get better at it, if you master it, if the like ruler's on level zero, level one, level two, you know, and then it's gonna get big thick ass, we can just gonna go, yeah! 10 seconds, 10 seconds, okay! And we're back! <laughs> these knights were just chilling here for four fucking hours? For four fucking hours, these knights are like, Hello! We got a knife now. Okay, this is the uh, raid to Jeju, right? Well, scout, scout. And someone told me last episode, I did make fun of this girl. I said, what the fuck are you wearing, Goth Lolita girl? But apparently, this is like important stats. It's like, it's like uniform. And it's it like, it, it adds stats and it's really important. But like, come on. Why she got a napkin on her? Did someone fart? What's going on? Why, why is she going like that? From the, from the water? Boat? 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 The fuck? And we're back, and we're back. Well, it'd be kind of cheat, right? Like, imagine he gained EXP for this bonus round where the knights kept infinitely spawning. It's a... Oh, okay. Uh, kill the mage with the gates then. Mage, yeah. And then Rulo's hand, call it back. Kill 
もうが分かれば残り5体速音あと4体What the fuck was that? He used ruler's hand on the mages there, right? It like almost like dragged them along. Grabbed them like a whip. <laughs> Ooh, big ass golem. Drop the chandelier. True, you're leaving yourself open. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Nice, nice, and then if we clear this, we're done, right? And the throne, dude! That fucking throne! There has to be some sort of symbolism here going on, bro! Is Jin Wu supposed to be on the throne? He was sitting... Now what? We're done? Did we get a cool class now? Bonus round, topped out. Cool skill now? Cool skill now? What? Analysis completed. Wherever the player goes, the angel of death follows. Ooh, edgy. I thought like hey, the class guess, I, I don't know, man. Cause like the most intuitive, the most obvious answer that everyone's gonna think is rogue, assassin, thief, because he's fast, he's agile, and he uses knives. But everyone's like, you don't fucking know, bro. Of course I don't know! Read it, you fucking. Do you think you're better at me because you fucking read it? And you motherfuckers are all in the chat going, <laughs> Arise, arise, arise. Yes, I fucking know the word too. God damn it. Whatever path the player takes, it is littered with corpses and a stench of blood remains. Is this supposed to like hint at us what kind of class we're gonna get? Angel of Death follows. Littered with corpses, stench of blood. What are we gonna be? A fucking blood mage, bro? What does that mean, bro? In addition, the player craves great power and blazed his own trail without relying on others. Solo leveling, solo. Something about being an individual, solo, without relying on others. Ah, what does this mean? I don't fucking know how am I supposed to guess! In thirst for strength calls forth the ghosts that roam the valley. The ghosts? That ro is bro becoming a fucking exorcist that can control ghosts? What the fuck do you mean? The ghosts summoned by the shadow ar ar army will follow the player's orders as the shadow army and make way only for the player. The ghosts summoned by the shadow army will follow the player's orders. The player is Jin Wu in this context. And the shadow army makes way only for the- Are we getting summons? I mean, it's saying summons. Straight up summons. What class- What class is commonly known for summoning shit? In RPGs and shit? Uh, like fuck- Like, like familiars, you get like beast tamers, uh, uh summon, 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 spirit summoning, uh, 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 well, well if it's ghosts, right? Think about it. Wait, 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 wait! Ghosts summoned. Corpses? Corp corpses? Ghosts? Corpses? I mean, the, the obvious guess now is like, what do you think? Fucking Diablo. Diablo. Necromancer. You fucking summon zombies. Corpses. Ghost summoned. Shadow army. That's what it's saying. What? Him necro? It's a fucking. Necros are fucking slow as shit and they fucking don't do it. What? What? What are you fucking. What are you. What, what are we doing? What class? Shadow oh, Army! What? 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 Your ch What? Why the fuck would he be a necromancer? Do you- I mean, in Diablo, you do have like a small knife. 
right? Sometimes the, the necromancers in, in Diablo can use like a knife, but sometimes they most likely use wands, but they're so slow as shit and sluggish. You would never, why the fuck would he be a necromancer? Necromancer? Arise. Necromancer? Arise! Arise! Zombie? Ne is that what that is? Is that, is that what that- You motherfuckers have been saying arise for six months before this show even fucking started. Now the dots are fucking connected. Necromancer or- So he had- Whoa! whoa. We need a corpse first. We need, we need a corpse to fucking say arise to. But we have no int. We have no fucking int though. He's an assassin. What do you mean? The stat we least invested into is the class we're gonna become. How the fuck does that make sense? If I get a backline class like Necromancer, all of that will be wasted. Well, Necros are fucking busted because you can basically just like wipe out shit without doing anything. You are essentially a one man army. It's straight up AFK. You walk around and your fucking skeleton knights will just destroy everything, bro. So it's like he's saying it's a backline class like Necromancer. All that will be wasted. But it's like, doesn't that mean Sung Jimu technically covers his own weaknesses? Right? Because if he's already invested so much into these stats that allows him to be fast, agile, strong, to kind of rely by himself, and on top of that, he has an army around him, doesn't that mean he's, like, covering, like, kind of all bases? Like, doesn't that kind of make sense? So, like, this is, like, you're specializing in one thing, but you also cover the weakness because you've already invested so much into strength, dex, agility, you know, fucking perception and stuff. And hold on! Let's keep cooking! Let's keep cooking! Let's keep cooking! Let's keep cooking! What if he did it? Did you guys fucking bait me? Did you guys fucking bait me? What if he just says no and he gets a fucking different class called like the ultimate thief or some shit? And then the fucking system's gonna give you a different poetry of like, you are so fast and agile, moving like your shadows. You will be fucking assassin. And it's like... So I spent like 20 minutes just fucking saying random shit and then you guys are like, Bro is cooking! Bro is cooking! But wait! But the Arise, it has to make sense. No, 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 no. The Arise, it, it's just, without the Arise being there, without that spoiler, then I'll be like, okay, maybe I could agree with that. But like, nah, nah, commit. Yeah. Wait, did he just decline? No. <laughs> he just said no. <laughs> and then the sister said, hey, bro, 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 bro. It's a hidden class. Bro, come on, come on. You, you, the, the, the system, the, the, the creator of this game is watching this shit happen. It's like, are you fucking serious? I'm giving you the best fucking hidden class. You're gonna decline this shit? Nah. You say no, 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 Necromancer again. No, no, no again. No again. No again. One more time. Come on. No. <laughs> hidden power. It's just fucking summons, right? Is that, is that, is, is that such a hidden class? Why is a Necromancer such a hidden class? You're just summoning zombies. You're summoning like stuff that can fight for you. Th this implies that the necromancer class kind of goes beyond that, right? Because if it was like like a necromancer, is it that special of a class? I think it, it, it is in the sense that it's fucking broken in like you know ARPGs, but like the system is saying it's like a hidden class, bro. So it's like. Oh. You can summon a literal army, bro. Huh. The system always wanted him to be a necromancer? The system has been pushing him in this direction the entire time? Did the system... Like in the double dungeon in episode one or two, even like was aware that Sung Jin Mu, if he, you know, he's like, oh yeah, this is the fucking guy that's gonna defeat the courage of the weak and then become a necromancer. Did you, did, did the fucking game dev or whoever is the creator even like anticipate this? What? Shadow army. Summon shadow army. And transition. When is the arise gonna happen? Did he say it? What? He said it? Wait, 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 wait! Arise! Arise! Oh, he's a solo. Fuck, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! You said the title drop! <laughs>
That's no, I should have been. I'm, I'm like too. Listen, when you're streaming and you're trying to pay attention to the enemy and there's a bunch of people fucking chatting and I'm just my attention is like just and I'm already ADHD. I'm like I got baited. I'm like all right, did it say it all right? No, no. He said he said so. He said the title drop. He said solo leveling. <laughs> Yeah, when, when is the rise, bro? When, when is the rise? Dozo. Arigato. Arise. Arise. And I say, Arise. 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 Depending on the advancements of the points acquired, you may progress to a higher class. So, is this saying like there's something beyond the necromancer? So like the base class would have been the necromancer, but then it's like you can go beyond that according to the bonus top up points you had. What the fuck is going on? Bonus points! Bonus points! You have not used the instant teleportation stone. Therefore, bonus points. So him fucking slipping the stone again. <laughs> Bro keeps fucking dropping that stone, dude. But it's like, alright, it kind of fucking works out. It got perfect bonus points. Bonus points. Defeated. Bonus points. Exceeded the class threshold. Yo, this sounds like fucking spider, bro. You know? Experience exceeded the threshold, you know? Boom. Level up. Arise. All right. Ooh, look at that dark aura. Your job has necromancer, shadow monarch. Because of the bonus points. Okay, bro is a fucking shadow monarch now. Okay, necromancer to shadow monarch because of the bonus point. What the fuck does that mean? Shadow Monarch. Sounds really cool though, huh? Sounds fucking insane. Kagano Kunshu. He said it. Unique class skills and tenable and along with the new title. Shadow and look at the fucking throne! Monarch! King? King? Throne? Is that for us? They keep aligning the throne right behind Jin Mu. I mean they had him fucking sitting on it at one point last episode. Shadow extraction is possible. Shadow extraction? Extract the shadow and you take the shadow and the shadows to summon? Sh no zombies? I mean, it's, it didn't, it's not called the zombie monarch, right? It's called the shadow monarch. And if you really think about it, imagine him summoning like zombie that's like, right? It's not that aesthetically cool, right? Designing wise. How cool are these? Shadow army gonna be. <laughs> Please designate a command word for skill shadow extract. So basically, this is a hotkey, right? You press the button, then it's like. You know, you play a game or Maple Story or, or Lost Ark or any game where you have a hotkey, and sometimes people will buy a specific thing. For, for example, there was this fucking like healer that was like role playing, and every time he would heal and use a skill, right? He would have the dialogue pop up in front of him it's called healing magic, healing magic, healing magic. It's like heal, heal, ooh woo, stuff like that. So it's like, okay, we got to come. Command word and G. I fucking wonder what that word is gonna be. Hmm. Is it gonna be ascend? Hmm. Is it gonna go? Uh, what, what are fucking other other words? You know. What are the other synonyms for fucking arise, bro? Come on now. Wake up. <laughs> ah! He said it. These are boys? Okiru. Shadow army? Shadow extraction and storage. Skills to drain mana to create shadow soldiers, that's what they are. And then shadow storage. Storage. So like at max, I guess you can only have 20 at a time. Uh, 0 to 20. Okay. 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 Depending on the strength of the target and the time since death. So like... 
Where's Egress? Where's the- Where the fuck is Egress right now? Where the fuck is Egress? Wait, wait. Why are we summoning this fucking trash mob? No! How long? It's been four fucking- Is Egress around? Please, please tell me. Please tell me Egress is around. Please. You cannot fucking- throw. No, 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 no. No! You can- My red- The knight- The knight guarding the empty throne. The knight guarding the empty throne. It's time! It's time! He come on! He's, and then we're gonna summon And we're gonna- And we're gonna be the throne! And he's gonna be like, My liege! And we're gonna be the throne! Oh my- Oh, oh, oh! Okay, okay. Where is he? Bro, focus! Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Okay, level one shadow infantry shirt. There, there, right over there. Please, please, please. Please. Oh, please. Please. Arise. Arise. My liege. Arise. Come on. I love them and sacrifice. Get the fuck out of here. Making space for egress. Get the fuck out of my face. Egress time. Did we just throw a fucking pokeball at him? And it went. Didn't. Didn't. <laughs> Are you serious? How many times can we try this? <laughs> wait, wait. How many times can we try this? <laughs> Three! Oh no! There's two more places! Oh no! Come on! Could you imagine we fail on Igris and we just fucking leave without him? Bro, that would be so fucking troll, but no shot. They gotta be waiting for the end, bro. Just throw the fucking Master Ball. Who are you waiting for? Chairman? What's going on, Chairman? You're king? Who's the king? Am I your king? I was sitting in that throne! What? We're doing a fucking speech no jutsu? Dank and decrepit? Malige! Surely this is the time! Come on! Join us, please! Oh! New armor! Oh, oh, oh! He got a new skin! The cape! The drip! Welcome back, my man! This is too good, bro. Oh, Knight rank level 7. He is the man Chairman is waiting for! Malige! Malige! Oh, everyone got some one knee! Everyone got some one knee! That's our king! Is that it? Is there post credit scene? Is there? Post credit scenes! What's going on? Ants? What happened? Box. What about the ants? What, what, what? Ants are evolving? Is that a wing? Is this a wing? Because it's an island. They're stuck in the fucking island with the ants. But if the ants get fucking wings, they can fly! <laughs> Yo, we gotta go to extermination! And that is the episode. Solo leveling is officially over and thank you to everybody that's shown me such generosity and love both on YouTube and the Twitch side. This has been a very special enemy that's been hyped up and goddamn there has been of course some spoilers. I already knew the word arise from fucking six months ago because everyone's just excited, right? But it's all about the context surrounding it. When I start to realize like arise, what the fuck does arise mean? It's like what class are you getting? Necromancer? Nick, Nick, Nick. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that was a special moment. That was a special moment, right? So again, this this anime has been a very special anime to me. This season has been fucking amazing in terms of just channel growth and stuff like that. You guys just show me so much support. Just truly makes me trying to pursue this content creation thing full time. Even though it sounds so cringe, I do really appreciate it. Now there is a season two announcement. I will be reacting to the trailer right after this reaction. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.